Hello Model Railroad fans, welcome to Vintage Road and Rail. In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this uh, Atlas uh, SD35 um, locomotive. Uh, this is not new, so this is not necessarily a product review, but more of an overview and just a, a look at some of the features that this particular locomotive has. And if you've watched some of my videos, you know that usually I'm on my uh, train table doing these videos, but today you can see that I've got scenery and extra cars and all kind of nice stuff and the reason for that is i am up here at the at my local model railroad club um and thought maybe i would uh shoot this video from here and so what we're going to do is we're going to give a quick overview of this locomotive and some of its features and then you can't see it right now but i've got 30 cars and a caboose lined up so we're going to see if it will pull all 30 of those cars since I don't have a pull tester I have no way of knowing what it can do so we'll see if it can pull all 30 cars in that caboose and get some footage of it uh, going around the track and since I'm the only one here I won't have to put it to music so you can hear all the you know little sound effects and everything that this locomotive has all right well with that all out of the way let's get started uh, so this is an Atlas master locomotive uh, it's um, I guess that's a series of locomotives they put out now this one is DCC out of the box ready to go when it was bought new and I don't know what its MSRP was for but whatever this hobby shop is um, I can't quite read it maybe if I bring it in close maybe you can it was going for $109.97 um, so here are some of the features that you'll see I'll kind of bring it in close because I got the camera zoomed out a bit so I could catch everything so we got ourselves a five pole motor uh, we got realistic die cast frame it's got directional lighting blackened wheels Accumate couplers which I believe this has been upgraded to Katie but I'm not sure uh, and it's got painted safety rails and it's available in multiple road numbers and I am pretty sure that they were also these locomotives are also available in different uh, railroads like say Union Pacific or someone like that um, so, I'm going to just kind of, hopefully you can read that if it's not too far out, just some of the information on what an Atlas Master Locomotive is. Alright, so when we unbox this, you'll find some paperwork in here, um, and we'll get to that in just a moment, but let's first get this out here. And let's, actually let's just... Pull it out all together. So if you look down in here, uh, here's the paperwork. So this is just basically going to be an exploded diagram um, of all the parts. So if you have a part that breaks, uh, you know what it is you need to order. It's got the part number and everything. Or if there's a part on there, you're like, what in the world is that? You can look on here and find out what it is. Uh, and there's also some lubrication instructions and stuff like that. Now. Like I said, this locomotive originally came with just a four-function basic DCC decoder. But whoever owned this before me put in Usanami 2 decoder. And not just that, but they also, I made a note of it here, put in a TSU speaker with enclosure and a, T, I'm sorry, a TCS speaker and enclosure and a TCS current keeper. So that's going to be really nice uh, if I hit a dead spot of track or some dirty track, it's going to keep going. So if you open this up, it shows you the functions and everything and some CVs. Uh, like if you go to this side, there's the functions. However, I know these are inaccurate. Um, I'm guessing the person that owned it before me has reprogrammed it. All right, so let's get the locomotive out of the box here. And you can see it here in its styrofoam, and it's got one of those soft little plastic wraps around it to keep it safe. And we're going to just do a quick walk around of the locomotive. And then we're going to look at the lighting and sound functions. All right, so let me get rid of this little piece here that keeps everything keeps my handrails from bending in. I actually want to get a bigger piece because it only is kind of in the middle. Okay. All right, so this is our SD35. 
by EMD, and let me get my little pencil. All right, so here's our road number, 4586. And we got a couple of figures inside the locomotive. And we can see it says a CSX. And I got this used, so I'll point out that all of the handrails are in great shape. And we can get, you got quite a good little detail on this as well. Uh, you got paint application here on the steps. You're not just all one color on your uh, safety railing, your handrails. You can see you've got some yellow here and you've got some gray here. And let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Maybe you can see a little better. Now, you can't see through any of these grills, but they are nicely detailed. And we've got a nice fuel tank here and we've got some details for our trucks. And we've got some details here, like this looks like, where you can see the fuel level. And maybe these are some little valves and gauges and such. And we've got a lot of nice molded in detail with the doors and everything here. So on the bottom, not really a lot to see, but you can see where it's got a label for the Tsunami 2. And this is a nice Atlas locomotive, so it's all-wheel drive and all-wheel pickup. And let's get this around here. So we got our coupler, and we got a little walkway, little plank that comes down. We got our safety chain, but it's a plastic one. And you can see CSX, and here's our backup headlight and our number boards. If you go in reverse, oh, let me get it where you can see. If you go in reverse, this comes on. It needs to stay lit all the time. And you've got here some molded in grab irons. You've got your MU hoses. So that's all some nice detail. And if you flip over to this side, it's pretty much more of the same of what you saw on the first side. All right, so let's go to the front real quick. And we got our coupler, our MU hoses, our little walkway or little gangplank, uh, whatever you want to call it, and our safety chain. All the handrails are great. Something I missed initially is we got a Mars light right here. And I believe this is a sand filler hatch right here. And we got windows, some applied detail. And we also have some applied grab irons here and here and here on the side. And you can see our little drivers in there. Operating headlight, number boards. Get a little closer look at that. It's, I'm zoomed in, I think, a little too much. So I'm having a hard time keeping it in camera. All right, so if we look at the top, the track is powered, so I don't want to set it on there. So we've got some really nice detail you can see in these radiator uh, fan or these uh, fans here, exhaust fans. You can see the fan blades, and you can actually see through there. If I had a light to shine on these, you'd be able to see down in the locomotive. And we've got our exhaust stack for our diesel locomotive. We got our horn right here and a little blinky light. And so that light actually works. All right, so I'm going to try to put this on the track. Where did I lay my... Because unfortunately this locomotive just starts up immediately when you put it on the track. So let me just set this down. Actually, I'm going to stop. All right, so I've got uh, some space cleared up and I left this all the way on the other side of the darn club. Uh, I'm not sure why I did that. All right, so this track is live. So the moment I move this locomotive onto the track, you're going to hear it start up. So let's go ahead and slide it down. I've zoomed the camera out so you can see uh, track one here. And we are set for westbound. Well, make sure it's good and straight. There's your startup sequence. I think it sounds really nice. All right. So let me go ahead and acquire this locomotive. 
I'm just using a cell phone to control it. So it's already programmed to 4586. Acquire. All right. So let's back it up just a little bit. Actually, um, I'm just going to scoot it back a tad. And then I'm going to swing the camera around. All right. Now let me grab my list of functions because, like I said, it had been changed. Um, I'm not going to go through all the functions. All right. So let's start with the lighting. And then we'll go through the sound. So we have our regular headlight. And if you want to dim that, that's F0. F7 dims it. See how it dims it? It's back a little brighter. All right. And then if you want to turn on the number boards, that's going to be F5. So our number boards come on. F6 will turn on our little blinky light. And if we go all the way down to F26, you'll see our little Mars light come on. All right, now as far as sounds, I'm just going to go over a few of the main ones. So you have your bell, and your horn, that's your short horn. Well, actually, that's just the regular horn, because if you press and hold it, but then for F3, there's a short horn. All right, and then if you're going over a road crossing, that's going to be F9. And if you want to just accelerate this all the way to the max, it's got a function on F10 called straight to 8. throttle back down and finally the last function I'm going to go over is F8 which is just muting the locomotive so if you want to run it without a lot of noise or if you're up here at the train club and you got five or six other people with sound and it's just getting ridiculous you can avoid contributing to the noise by just hitting F8 all right so let me set my notepad to the sound uh, to the side here all right so we're going to go forward. Now I've got my phone set up to do steps. So let's see if it will start moving on step one. And there she goes. That was actually it bumped up to step two, but we're back at step one. So let's bump it up to step five. So you can see it has a really good slow crawl and it's not even hiccuping a, a bit. And with that keep alive in there, I'm sorry, it's kind of jerky. This is not a very smooth tripod. You can see it accelerating as we get a little faster. And as you can see, as we're getting towards the back here, our number boards are lit. So let's hit stop. And it will take it a moment to come to a stop. It has been set up to where that it will ramp up. If I was to set this at 128 steps maximum, it will take it a few minutes to ramp all the way up. Likewise, if I just hit stop, it takes a little bit for it to stop, just like our locomotive would in the real world. All right, so let's hit reverse. And you can see our reverse light come on. So let's hit speed step one. And we start moving almost immediately. So it has very, very good slow speed. So I'm going to turn the camera. And you can see my line of cars here. So let's go ahead and get hooked up. We're going to accelerate speed, to, uh, speed step 5 so we don't have to take forever. And let's just go to 10. And 
And you can see we're just gradually creeping up on these cars. I figure in the real world a locomotive is not going to be just buzzing straight to it. Alright, so we should be hooked up. So let's put it in forward. And now we've got all 30 cars. Let me just make sure we're actually hooked up. Yep, we are. All right, so let's do speed step one and see if it'll actually start pulling with all these cars. Look at that. That is speed step one, and it is pulling these cars. And I can't detect any wheel slippage whatsoever. Let's stop it and let's see if it has any trouble pushing them backwards. So we hit reverse. Speed step one. No trouble. Bump it up to five. And everything is going back just fine. All right, so I think this locomotive is a winner. So if you can find one of these at a reasonable price that's already upgraded to DCC with sound and keep alive. Uh, I think this will be a great engine uh, for your collection. So, all right, well, that's a look at this uh, locomotive. So, I'm going to run it around the layout a bit, but I'm just going to take little snippets of footage. Um, so, I'm going to stop talking from here and let you watch the footage. So, if you enjoyed this video, uh, if you would, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell that way you'll know when another video comes up and if you have this locomotive or if you have some thoughts on it drop them down in the comments i try to read the comments and reply where i can all right well thank you very much for watching happy model railroading and take care catch you next time